One of the main areas of interest in my lab is understanding how poly A tails are added to the three prime end of almost every eukaryotic mRNA. This process is mediated by a large multiprotein complex that acts co-transcriptionally. And one of the most fascinating things about this complex is that it contains four different enzymes. And these enzymes must be co-regulated or coordinated to control gene expression. And we're trying to figure out how this happens. Poly A tails are required for export of mRNAs from the nucleus, for efficient translation of mRNAs into proteins, and for mRNA stability. So poly A tails can be removed in the cytoplasm to control how often an mRNA is made into protein. Now there are two conserved exonuclease complexes. One of them is shown here, and this is another major area of interest in my lab. We want to understand how specific RNAs are targeted for poly A tail removal. My lab uses an integrated approach combining structural, biochemical, and functional methods to gain a more complete understanding of these multiprotein complexes. We reconstitute their biochemical activities in vitro to understand how these protein complexes are regulated, and we also determine their structures to gain mechanistic insights into their function. One of the main methods we use is electron microscopy, or cryo-EM. And there have been really amazing advances in this field over the last few years, which now allow us to determine high-resolution structures. The field is still under development, though, and we've been working to improve specimen preparation. It turns out that when we image proteins in the electron microscope, they often move, blurring our images. Chris Russo, a former postdoc in my lab, developed a new support made entirely out of gold. These supports substantially reduce specimen movement, improving our images and allowing us to obtain higher resolution structures, such as this structure of apoferritin, an iron storage molecule found in our cells that we used as a test specimen. So using these new technologies, our aim is to understand how cellular cues use poly A tails to regulate gene expression in space and time.